Good Lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. That's it? Yes. Yes, you can. How are you going? Today, I'm going to show you how I created this device, which produces similar stuff to Aurora Borealis. But, unlike Aurora Borealis, this is small and conveniently fits neatly into your pantry. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video, because I'll show you what would happen if you were unfortunate enough to touch it by using a sausage and cooking some steamed hams. Before we go any further, I should warn you that this is extremely dangerous and can kill you, and you should not do this at home. And on that note, the sponsor for today is Jim's Life Insurance. If you or any other YouTubers are planning to engage in dangerous behavior, buy life insurance today. So, this device is called a Jacob's Ladder. It is aptly named after the biblical Jacob's Ladder that helped angels get to heaven. The same thing happens if you touch this bad boy. A Jacob's Ladder works when high voltage is applied to these wires. The electrons in the wires don't like each other and want to escape, so they jump across to the other wire. When these electrons jump and collide with the molecules in the air, they excite the gases in the air, creating bright colours. This is actually quite similar to Aurora Borealis, which is created when charged particles from the centre of the sun shoot out towards the Earth. This plasma collides with the Earth's magnetic field and is redirected towards the weakest part of the field, which is the poles. It then collides with the gases in the atmosphere, exciting them and creating a beautiful, colourful polar rave. Animals in the region then line up and buy overpriced tickets, take illicit substances while staring into the lights, dancing all night and contemplating life. So now that I have recited what I'm pretending I understand from a Wikipedia article, it is time to start the building process. And this is the schematic I'm following. <laughs> Jax, you almost built a waving cat. So, the first thing we're going to do is take the transformer out of the microwave. And again, this is extremely dangerous, so don't do it in your house. Just come over to mine instead. Now, transformers work in a very complicated way. The power goes in here, and then comes out there. And then all we need to do is touch some wires together, and we get an electrical arc. Now the art gives off dangerous bright light and I recommend wearing at least, you know, three pairs of sunglasses if you can't afford proper UV safety goggles. And that is alright, but it isn't Aurora borealis enough. So, I'm going to add one more transformer and add two capacitors in parallel. For some reason that didn't work in series. If any of you electrical wizards know why, please enlighten me. And there we go. My neighbors won't let me borrow their microwave, so it looks like that is as big as the arc is gonna get. So now let's make the ladder component, which is just two copper wires running at an angle away from each other. I'm gonna add this candle, which motivates the electrons to try harder and acts as a conductor between the two wires. And there you have it. Now to just tidy up a little, and then you can sit back and enjoy the slow-mo I was obliged to film as I paid too much for this camera.
there were three very cool things I noticed while watching the slow-mo. Firstly, it was awesome seeing the similarities between the moment the plasma arc disconnected and fired off into the air, and a solar flare disconnecting and shooting off from the sun. Secondly, seeing the candles flutter around like a butterfly, you know, before it reaches out its little butterfly arms and grabs the wires, allowing the electricity to cross. It would be amazing to see this at a higher resolution with an even slower camera. And thirdly, when paused at exactly the right moment, the electrical arcs are clearly telling me I need to eat more pie. Now that we have seen the beauty of the arcs, it is time to see what would happen if I were to touch them with my fingers. And that didn't work that well. So I've decided to recreate a common workplace incident. You know, when you're walking along, you slip and you nail your finger to a wooden plank and then you, yeah. and you slip again and you stick two copper wires inside it. That was beautiful. I have never seen a sausage explode in time with a choir before. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Steamed hams cooked with Aurora Borealis. I love a good grilled ham. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that this is a practical or effective way to cook, and these hams are obviously not steamed, but it was a fun way to cook, and I'm a little curious to see what they taste like. Yeah, don't, don't cook like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Aurora Borealis in my kitchen. If you like this, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. Like, like this one here, I show you how to get free stuff.